Hey, what's up everybody? My name's Kia Rob here and welcome back guys to some more of this cutesy, ootsy wootsy little game called Doki Doki There's Your Club. And you guys may still be asking, why are you playing an anime dating simulator? Well, because it's a horror game. It's a horror game. Okay? Don't judge me. I'm not a, I'm not a waifu hunter, okay? I'm not even into anime. That's probably gonna offend some people. <laughs> but anyways, let's get right back into this. Uh, I think we're on this day. Yeah, we last saved it that day. Okay, so let's do, what should we choose? We gotta choose something uh, Sayori related, right? So let's do heartbeat, sweet, pleasure. What? Candy, rose, rainbow, bunny. Um, bubbles, gosh dang it, um, excitement, melody, doki doki, fudge, I'm messing up, romance, silly, yeah, that's definitely her, daydream, yep, fluffy, kawaii, dang it, Kit. Mm. twirl, come on, treasure, um, amazing. There we go. That should do it. I think. Oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry. I just walked in, too. You were practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have solved... You must have a lot of determina... These Undertale references, man. Every single time. <laughs> Starting this club and now picking up piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember, the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. I'm super happy you're all willing to help out for the festival, too. I can't wait to s s for the festival. It's going to be great. Eh? Were you complaining about it yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. It's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on! Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? Eh, I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? So yeah, uh, I'm gonna be skipping through some of this dialogue because people said that it takes around like two to three hours to get to the real nitty and gritty stuff. So I don't think I've explained that in any of my other videos. I, I probably have, but Mainly what I want to do is just kind of skip over this and get to the real nitty and gritty. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to skip. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I don't want to skip. There you go. Sayori is sitting in the desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Eh, uh, eh. Uh. Eh, eh, eh. Sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to anyone else. Huh. Is everything alright? Of course! Why wouldn't it be? Just feels like you're a little off. Oh wait, just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Did you worry too much about me? I'm fine, see? Siri shows a big smile. Oh, that's so cute. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. <laughs> oh jeez, I need something to drink. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> well, all right, if you say so. I worriedly glanced at Siri before turning out back towards everyone else. But the conference system dispersed even the news activity media she has Monica if she ain't anything but Siri. Since they've been very smooth, we're spending a lot of time together. I approached Monica, who was shuffling behind some of the papers at her desk. Good Robert, what's up? This might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Siri recently? Anything up with her? And what way do you mean? Maybe I'm re into a little bit too much, but it seems a bit off. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers at her room around Sarah, who's idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there is something on her mind. I'm not surprised, but I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Kill Robber. You certainly know a lot about her than I do. I'm messing up my words because I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> eh. <laughs> Yeah, but she's never really like this. She's always talking to me about the things that bother to her, but this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. So, is this about the thing? Is she getting depressed? She, 
she want to commit suicide? Is this, is that it? It's probably not. I don't know, I assume lots of things, so I'm probably wrong. It's important to me too, I mean, I'm also friends with her and not caring about her being in club members, you know. Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Yeah, are you sure about that? She seems like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she's just having a hard time bringing up with one of the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe there's a the thing under my Izuka, Robert. Me? How on earth did you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but story talks to me about you more than anything else, you know. Eh? She's so much happier ever since you joined the club. She's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sorry is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. I'm not any different now than I've always been. <laughs> You're so funny, Kill Robert. Go kill yourself, Kill <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she's, she's like, You're so funny. Oh my gosh, you should... No, just kill yourself. <laughs> Have you ever thought about maybe you've seen her as so cheerful because of how she is growing up around you? What? Ah, I said too much. I'm sorry. What do you? What do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, but I just let you forget about what she said. I'm mean, try to talk to her. I'm sure she's not thinking about it for now. Ah, all right. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she forget about it. Eh, but I already know that I won't be able to get words out of head. I just, just watch the room with Siri saying you learn Siri and gently talking to her, but keeping her voice so quiet so I can't hear from there. So basically, uh, Monica's talking to Sierra because she's depressed. I know Siri told me not to worry about her and have fun with everyone else, but it's impossible if she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her and I'm letting it just weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one obsessed, one behaving out of the ordinary. There's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Okay. Okay, everyone. Now the time passes, call Monica calls the film and she don't wish you hear her home's out. Before I know it, everything's back to normal. I go and retrieve the films and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica and she smiles at me. I wonder what she's talking about with Sayori. Alright. So, uh, let's do Sayori first, I guess, since we've already done that. This is your best one so far! It's really, really nice, Kim Robert! Er, thanks. Eh. She didn't make a eh sound, he was a hmm sound. <laughs> Sayori, you've been a little quiet today. Is everything alright? Eh, of course! Everything is fine. Maybe I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> do you want a nap or something? No, that's silly! Don't worry about me, okay? I only want to see smiles on your face. Well, all right. Hey, Kid Robert, I'm still a little surprised. I really thought that when you try to see your eyes take the way she always does. Or even that Suki, but in the end. Yeah, I guess you're the one who likes this the most. Why? I, oh. Music stop. I don't want to get any closer with everyone else, okay? Wait, of course I do. That doesn't mean I have to try so hard to impress them. I'm so sorry, I did not notice that the music was turned down that much. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, the music was turned down a lot. I'm so, ah, oh, I've been running for eight minutes! Ugh! I know you have something to put up with me, and I have something to put up with you. But we have a wavelength or something. This is how the poems came out. Sometimes it feels like you're the only exciting thing in my life. Oh yeah, so cliche. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, just a rain cloud, see that? I promise it won't happen again. So the magic will play with everyone else. So you to tell Monica, so I'll see you tomorrow. Before you anything, so if you're chilly, you walk out of the classroom, Monica, and do herself. Okay. Oh, wait, she went home? Oh. Okay. Finally. Eh? This one, it's good. I was wondering how long it would take you. Alright. Yeah, because I made it more of, um, Natsuki, more than... That's... Uh, Natsuki, no, Sayori, so, yeah, seriously, I don't listen to what everyone else says, especially Yuri. Just keep writing poems like this, that's all you need. Er, are you sure that's not what you want? Excuse me? You're talking like a pro, you know. Do you think you should be trusting my opinion the most? I guess it depends. Yada, 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 yada. You know, this game, I feel like I'm being trolled. I feel like... Because they're telling me, oh, Kale, you gotta wait two to three hours. Is this just a big troll? Am I being trolled right now? I don't know. That's just a random thought. But who knows? I'll be your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and me. You're doing this over the years. Sure, I'll be the beach that watch your words away. 
Or your thoughts on how you play it. It's pretty good. It beats the washes your worries away. But you me learn to love yourself again. Alright. Yeah. I felt like I kept writing the negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome. It's kind of hard to write negative about the beach. So you decided to write about the beach first, and then came up with a message later. Yeah, well, this is only because of what happened yesterday. I mean, after Yuri and I realized we kind of wrote the same thing, she wanted to pick a topic and have it both of us or whatever. Uh, you can make it see really thing do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. Okay. <laughs> Yuri. I'll save Monica for last, because I like Monica. Monica's cool. Yuri doesn't look too enthusiastic about spending time with me. I guess if she changes her mind, she'll come to me. I shall leave her for, be for now. Oh. What? I just... Okay. Didn't expect that. Hi, Gail Robert. Have you thought about what you wanted to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being the people... Being this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people... I guess I'll have to give some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> Anyways, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. I like it, Kale Robber. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think about something that Suki would write. And she's a good writer, too. So take that as a compliment. <laughs> if you say so. Yep. By any chance, have you read anything by Shel Silverstein? Ooh. Like the giving tree. Eh? Maybe a long time ago. He's famous for telling all kinds of stories in just a few simple words. His poems can be funny, endearing, or even sad. Sometimes they're only a few lines long, but it might even feel when they like they're written for kids. But if you think about them, they are they can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. I see. So you're saying that Natsuki is kind of like that, sort of. Maybe she's not an expert, but you probably wouldn't find much filler in her poems. They might be easy enough to they might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. So I can see why it would be kind of your poem to explore. Anyway. I'll share my poems with you now, alright? Er, alright. Lady knows everything. A tale of old tales of lady wonders her. Lady knows everything. A lady who's found every answer. A meaning, a purpose. I was ever sight. Here I am, a feather. Lost adrift in the sky. A day to search. It's a little hope, knowing I don't exist. When all else has failed me. When all others have turned away. The legend that all remains. The last dimming star in the twilight sky. Till one day, the wind ceases to blow. I fall. I fall and fall and fall even more. And between me and forefinger, there's no purpose in it. With breath, will back to the gust. Okay. You know, I like learning and looking for answers and all sorts of stuff that gives like meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of my own. Are you making fun of my vision? No. <laughs> so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. Anyway, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's just one thing I noticed. Seems like everyone in the club is pra prefer pra prefer prefer blah, prefers writing about things that made me even more sad than happy. <laughs> Are you surprised? <laughs> I said, nah. <laughs> I mean, if everything was okay, I'm really happy. I'm trying to have my fun with this. I this game is kind of boring. I mean, I'm sure there's so many people into this visual novel type of stuff, but for me, it's kind of not as interesting. Like, I read stories on Wattpad all the time. I love Wattpad. This is the video isn't sponsored by Wattpad, but it's such a good app. I highly recommend it. But I love reading all the stories about like fan fictions and just seeing what interesting things that people have to tell about like their own stories and fan fictions about like video game characters and stuff like that. Just throwing that out. We wouldn't really have anything to write about. We'll be humans are two-dimensional creatures. Coming from you, <laughs> you'd think you'd know better than anyone. I mean, you mean one-dimensional? Uh, yeah, that. <laughs> okay, so they know. They know. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. If you're ever too shy to share your writings because you're afraid it's not that good, you can be really disheartening to her lukewarm responses you can put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you what your writing is good or okay or bad, they want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way and will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? You're the president of the literature club! That's my advice today. Thanks for listening.
Okay. Okay, you three, we're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out? Hold on a second. It's just me or you just say some exchanges now. Yeah? You something you did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deactivated your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. A catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez, what's the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri is immune to it. Uh, staggering in the air for common foreshadowing, something terrible is going to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only difference is that Sayori isn't here. Huh, seems you're right. <sighs> Sayori has always helped lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I bet she just went to pee. And Suki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Ah, she actually... <laughs> I said a weird thing again. Ah, <laughs> ah she was yeah, actually wasn't feeling too well and then went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times she did not go home with her, you pick up the time she's not feeling well? So much for being due to being all up Debbie. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I don't want to force it. Who? That, cur that curious expression is coming from Yuri, of all people? Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier, and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out what the rest of our preparation is, so let's decide on who we'll be going to do what we'll be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes, but we might need a lot of them in different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. As for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Suri will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Yuri, you can, uh, um, guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? <laughs> I, I'm useless. No, that's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know? Now, Natsuki's pouting too? Jeez, I can even, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Siri enough credit, but I can tell things are harder on you when she's not around. Ah, that may be the case. But if I can't be the leader on my own, then I won't grow to be as a person. So Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? You should take some banners and decorations and help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that, I... I love atmosphere. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk and focuses and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great! You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Kill Robber. The one who truly... The one who's truly useless. <laughs> don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It probably, it would probably go a long way to give them one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I'd be really appreciative of that. Uh, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth am I going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you didn't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give you. It's not like Monica's gonna give me a choice and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bit of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle baking on your own. Kill Robert's not may not like being around if you want to make him just make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard can it be to make a few decorations anyways? Sounds like you're just making excuses for Kill Robert. Well, what are you saying? It would be extremely malicious work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think... Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Kill Robert to decide how we'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't he hasn't gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? Aha! I see where you're going at. So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said... Uh, I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry, I was just saying, though. Jeez, can we sell this already? Yeah, Kill Robert, you're, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. Hmm. Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. But of course, I'm going to go with... Ooh. I'm going to have to go with Sayori. After that, I have to help Sayori. I mean, if it's going to be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors, and... But Monica said... Sayori said... Monica said that Sayori was helping her. Jeez. You really hate us that much? No! Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Just think of the club, okay? Okay, so since I haven't spent any time with Monica, I think... Wait, have I? I don't think I have. I'll go with Monica. Well, I guess it should probably be helping Monica. Yay, you picked me! 
Hold on one second. You, yeah. Monica, you're the one who needs the he least help out of all of us. Eh, but I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work most suitable for one person, but you already have Sura as well. But Kill Robert was the one who... Uh, that doesn't matter. You were the one who scared him into picking you in the first place. You're the club president, Monica. You're supposed to make responsible decisions for the club. Monica, Monica, you shouldn't let any ulterior motives interfere with this decision. Ulterior motives? What are you saying, Yuri? In fact, it sounds like you guys are the ones with the ulterior motives. Excuse me? Otherwise, this would have been made into such a big deal in the first place. That's completely false, Monica. Yeah, we have a lot of work to do, you know? It wouldn't be a good a job if you had make us work alone. Ah, uh, maybe that's true. You're the thing of the club, Monica. Even if, even if we want our adventures to see them, we'll probably we need to appropriately distribute our resources. There's a lot of big words in here. My goodness. Um. Uh. So, what are you gonna do? The right thing, President? Okay. Okay. I get it. <sighs> it's technically the most logical thing for Kill Robert to help you with one of those. So, I guess that's what we'll do. Do you have a press friends, Kill Robert? Oh, okay. This is the big time. I haven't spent... I guess since technically the, a lot of the poem into Natsuki, it would make sense to pick her. But then again, there's Yuri. I'll pick Natsuki. Uh, it might be just Yuri. He'll be like, oh, now you gotta only pick Yuri. Well, baking sounds like it could be fun. You guys made it sound like a lot of work, so we probably could use two people. Don't worry. Baking is a ton of fun. You'll definitely agree. Yeah? Just a minute ago, I thought you were saying that. That's because. Never mind, okay? Well, anyway, you'll be fine by yourself, alright, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to it, after all. That's good. Even though Yuri's a bit melodramatic, it's a bit a little hard to not feel bad. That's everything, right? Anything else we need to talk about? Nope. Think that's it. Are you guys excited? Yes! Everything except for the performance is gonna be awesome! I don't think that it really counts. What about you, Kill Robber? Me? I guess you could say that I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Yuri? Yuri? She's still sulking. As Yuki starts pounding too. It's not... I mean, it's not that big of a deal or anything. Well, it might not be just that. I think that Yuri might, might, might just be feeling a little underappreciated in general. Having to come up with something for her to do and then nobody offering help. That doesn't mean... Uh, uh. Natsuki glances back and forth between everyone with a wordy expression. Look, Natsuki goes over and puts her hand down on Yuri's shoulders. Yuri, you really are the most talented one here, and you're going to help make this event a lot more fun and welcoming. I mean, the cupcakes will probably help a lot too, but you're, that's what's going to make the atmosphere just always oh, so corny! Ah! Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just cracked my knuckles. <laughs> it's like, seriously, how boring this is. But there's a lot of dialogue. I have to say, the person who made this game, it really feels like it. Eh? We still need to figure out the plans for the weekend. You literally would have gotten home and realized that you didn't have a way to contact me. No, that's true. I guess I have no idea. It slipped my mind. Jeez, good thing I stopped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? You better not make it weird or anything. I would do that. Hmm. Natsuki gives me your number. Okay. I'm coming over on Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait. You're coming to my house? Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured since I'm the one helping, I'll be going to your house. Yeah, right. Like, I could have a guy over at my house. My dad would kill me. Really? That's kind of strict if you ask me. Yeah, how do you think I feel? Can't do anything while my dad is home. Anyway, I just need to complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. That's all I needed from you. I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. Alright, fine by me. Yeah. I'm really gonna show you why I love baking so much. So you better look forward to it. Oh? Didn't you say you were just gonna give me your dirty work? Well, I was just saying that. It was not like I could act in front of everyone. I was just looking forward to this. Wait, really? Well, kind of. Just because I never got to bake with someone else before. And that's it, so... Alright, I get it. Sorry for overreacting. Man, there's a bunch of useless dialogue in this game. I'm, I probably have said this for like the 50th time already, but there's so many scenes where it's, it's so cliche, and it's just so unnecessary to have in a game. Like, we were like, 
Seriously. <laughs> I'm not complaining or anything. I love little details in a, in a game, but... Ugh. <laughs> anyway, I'll be heading home now. See you on Sunday. Ah, uh, never mind. Okay. I can't believe this. Natsuki is going to be coming over to my house on Sunday, even though I would prefer to do this with Sayori. My anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I've still gotten pretty used to the hang handling her at this point, but who knows what might happen if what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous th that Sayori finds out about this? It's not like we feel that way about each other. Besides, Monica said this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. I'll just go with it, and then I'll have a good time. Okay. Okay, we're gonna save. Ah. <sighs> Okay. Yes, main menu. <sighs> All right, that's gonna end this episode. And honestly, I didn't, I honestly was planning on doing the whole thing with Natsuki, but I have to go, I'm tired, I wanna go to bed, and I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm one lazy son of a gun. So yeah. That's going to end it for this episode, guys. If you did like it, only like it if you like the video. That's what like buttons are meant for. Don't press the like button if people tell you to press it. You only like a video if you like it. Okay? So don't press the like button unless you like this. Got it? Okay. And subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. I got my killer rubber hat on. Bye, guys. See you later.